Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Queens Lake. Today we are going to be planting up some planters that my husband had custom made for me and he surprised me with them uh, a few weeks ago. I lined them with landscape fabric and have put some of the, our uh, horse compost in there. Um, now the good thing about the horse compost is that it is excellent soil, everything grows in it, meaning the weeds too. And we, it wasn't composted, uh, it, it was composted properly because it's been sitting in that compost far, pile forever and ever. However, every time we use it, all the weed seeds manage to come up still. So anyway, I'll show you around, uh, I'll show you around the planters. We're gonna be do one, do, I, he bought me three in total. Two are going over by our, by our wedding barn, and the third one is gonna be going on our front porch. And the inspiration that I'm taking from these for these planting up these planters is really special. Uh, I grew up close to Niagara and the Lake, um, somewhat close to Niagara and the Lake. And I, when I was driving home from my parents' place last year, I stopped by there with my daughter and just couldn't get over the planters. The planters were stunning. So I'll show you some of my inspiration photos, and that's what I want to recreate with these with these photos. So here is a photo or video of the planter that we had made. It's made out of cedar um, and pine in the bottom. Um, I had, as I said, I lined them with landscape fabric and used our horse compost, but look at all those weeds that are coming up. So this is going on our front porch. However, uh, all these weeds are on um, weeds. <laughs> They're kind of weeds now. Um, all these uh, bushes, they are emerald cypress. Um, They're coming out. We are going to be ripping those out hopefully this week. We've been waiting a long time for them to come out. They were very, very overgrown. They were probably another, you know, two or three feet tall. And as you see our front porch, you know, when we, when we would sit over there, you couldn't even see over them because they were, you know, they were a good six, seven feet tall. And we had people come and trim them down and they did them well. However, we still needed them down another foot. And by the time that we went down another foot, we went a bit too far and now we've caused damage in them. So I've purchased all new boxwoods for this area. That's gonna be another video, hopefully, that I can do this week. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be planting up these planters. What I have purchased for the filler, uh, I have some Prince Tut's uh, grasses. I have some of the fireworks grasses. I have some Persian Shield. I bought some uh, begonias. This is a Nick. No. Danziger Bidens, that's what this one is. I don't remember why. I, uh, I bought three of everything so I can meet plant teach the planters, but I don't know. I must have just picked this one up because it really attracted my eye. I did want some yellow flowers in there. And I've got these guys. Uh, I forget what they're called, though I'll put it up on the screen. I uh, purchased some uh, geraniums uh, and lots of coleus. Hopefully they will do well. This area here is fairly shaded. Um, in the afternoon, it does come in with some blazing sun, but in the morning, it's all in the shade. But over by our, our sunset barn where our, where our weddings are, it's in, the sh it's in the heat and sun a lot longer. So I'm hoping that these will do well. So I bought numerous var varieties of the coleus and some silverberry super tunias, some, some patience, some calabacroas, calabacroa. <laughs> um, I picked up some of my hostas that have been um, growing up from seed, not seed, from uh, little roots that I had that were, they were not surviving, so I separated them. Actually, these guys are stained glass, and this one is, oh, I forget what that, oh, actually, that's just one that we picked up from our cottage garden. Um, we're selling our, my husband's selling his cottage, and they had some beautiful hostas over there, so I told them to pick up a bunch, and I, I wanted a memory of the, of the cottage here at the farm. Um, more of the silverberry, and more of the uh, coleus. So I've got some fertilizer that I'm going to be putting in here. Not that it really needs it. It's good, healthy, healthy stuff. Anyway, we will get uh, started planting on this. So one of the first things I want to do is actually dig back this soil and I'm going to be folding back this uh, landscape fabric to put it underneath there. I don't want any raw edges on here so it decays over the years and the years. Uh, get, when I plan, when I told the guys to fill it with soil, I told them to do it. They forgot, so I have to do it now.
wait. It's gonna be the fertilizer. I'm also going to plant an ivy that I had in my back or my back porch there, uh, just to give it some trailers over the more trailers over the front. So that's our planter here. We have the coleus. Oh, I need to water this fast. It's man, it's already drooping. Um, the coleus, hosta, some of this one that I can't remember. Um, the uh, begonia, some more. I actually went out and got some uh, extra uh, supertunia royal velvet that I had in my greenhouse. Uh, just to, I want some more spillers going over the side of these guys. Uh, we have the lime. What is it? Wasabi. Uh, wasabi coleus, the calabacroa, the geranium, the Persian shield, some ivy that's going to grow down the front, some some patience, some more coleus, which I forget the name of that too, um, the color of campfire, and pretty much it. Oh, this guy's already starting to flower. I'm going to be pinching these guys back a lot. So, and I may actually cut them off and do some more rootings and do some other planters with these guys as well. I like to uh, propagate on my flowers, and by the end of the season um, a lot of them still look really nice and fresh because they haven't been overgrown they've actually been pinched back a lot they've, they've come back and also I've had you know twice the amount of planters that I originally started with at the beginning of the season as well so I'm gonna get this watered in and that's it so uh, thank you so much for watching uh, I'll be busy planting the other two planters and I'll take pictures of those and uh, keep them watered and wait to see how full they grow and see if I can actually match my target picture so I do, I do advise that anybody who's ever gone uh, make a trip to Niagara on the Lake. It is a wonderful little town, beautiful restaurants and little shops around there. Um, I'd, I'd even like to make our little town uh, here into something similar. It has, we have the same look and feel in our little town. So it would be uh, it would be great to be able to have like a little Niagara on the Lake here. So let's see what happens. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.